Okay, I'm starting. So uh, number two, graphite, right? Graphite. So you see, uh, graphite. It's uh, just like diamond. Graphite also made of pure carbon, but uh, structurally they are different. How? Again, uh, let me write it down better. It is a giant covalent structure, graphite. Graphite is giant covalent. Number one. Number two, uh, each carbon atoms are joining with three other carbon atoms. See, one, two, three. So see, this carbon, the middle carbon is joining with three other carbon atoms. So each carbon atoms are joining with three other carbon atoms, three other carbon atoms. And these are layer structure, unlike, uh, uh, unlike diamond. Diamond is a tetrahedral structure, whereas graphite is a layer structure. See, graphite is also a form of uh, pure carbon, but the atoms are arranged differently, although it still has giant structure. Graphite has a layer structure, number one. Rather like a pack of playing, just like pack of playing card, see, if this layer, you, you think one playing card or one page of a, a book is one layer of diamond, yeah, graphite, one graphite layer, then it is, so one layer, then the next layer, then the next layer, then the next layer, that's how it goes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So graphite, yes, sir. right? Graphite is a layer structure rather like a, uh, it's like a pack of playing cards. In pack of cards, each card is strong, but the individual cards are easily separated. Okay? So uh, the same is true for graphite. So that's how it works. You see, it's a pencil lead, right? Now, a pencil lead is made of graphite and some clay is mixed, together, mixed with the graphite. Now, why, when you write what you are leaving on the paper, when you, you are writing with a pencil, you are basically putting the layer of graphite on your, paper, on your paper. You are putting the layer of graphite on your paper because these layers are easily slide over, easily they can slide over each other and they can be easily separated. The layers are separated. But individual layers, they are very strong because the whole layer is made of strong covalent bonds. But see, uh, if you look at look this view, this is one layer. So all the carbon atoms are in one layer. So if you look this layer from uh, this side, from the horizontal side, so this is one layer, then the next layer, and in between the layer, there are very weak force of attraction in between the layer. So when you are writing, you are leaving these layers on the paper. What's that? Sir, could you repeat? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll uh, show you a video, you will understand. Achha, arekta dekho, AJ, eta dekho, eta eta graphite, eta ki jano? Tumra dekba, jokhan tumra ye koro, barbecue koro, black je coal ta tumra use koro, barbecue kora shomoy, oita kintu graphite. Ki hoi, tu bhi ki koro, tu bhi dekba, oi barbecue ta jokhan burn, mane oi coal ta jokhan burn hoi, it burns layer by layer. Ekta layer burn hoi, then tu bhi hoche ekta, Chota ekta fan dao, oita diyo oi layer ta burn hoi pa jokhan ash hoi jaye, oita ke tu bhi ye shoray dao, oi fan ta diyo oita ke blow off kore dao. And for next layer ta bar burn hoi, and for next layer ta burn hoi, eje dakko eje layer gula dakka jete se. Aar ehi layer ta bonding pattern, ehi individual ekta layer er bonding pattern ho chhe eta. Eje ekta layer, eta ke abar playing card eshe teo tumi compare kortta baro. Playing card, it has checked a layer, then Erukum Arecta layer, Arecta layer, that's how it goes. I made a video that I need to clear of a video to the head because these are 3D diagrams. Video the head is better, but I made a shish for a day for video to the head to make a clearly boost back you with the same. Okay, next point graphite is a soft material. Acha, I make a video to the head that explain for the shoe without including the video of diamond. We take the head. Uh, yes. This lady will try to show you how it is working. 
iron covalent structure is. You've learned about covalent compounds before, such as water and oxygen. These both have a set number of atoms. You've got H2 and O2. Giant structure like diamond is that you don't have a set number of atoms anymore. What we have instead is an ongoing structure that could go on and on as far as possible until you run out of atoms. So, diamond. so here we've got diamond. Diamond is made up of just carbon atoms. That's all these black atoms here. All of these atoms are, have four other carbons bonded to them. Now, let me stop here. You see uh, the bond angles. I said to you earlier, these bond angles, these bond angles are 109.5. All these bond angles with the central atom is 109.5. That you need to understand. And number two, it's a pyramidal structure. If you make plane, you will get four triangles. Plane, 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 and plane. If you make, you will get four triangles. And this is the 3D pattern with ball and stick she has made. That's your basic structure of diamond. The key features of diamond are that it is a form of just carbon atoms and that every single carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms. Graphite is the other giant... Okay, now we are discussing graphite and see and compare how it works. ...the structure that you need to know about. Graphite is almost the same as diamond. You've still got the black molymods, which means that it's just made up of carbon atoms. But what's different here is that each carbon is only bonded to three other carbons. So the way... So three, look at this. One, if you take, this is the central carbon atom. So one, two, and three. Is it clear? Three. If you take this, one, two, and three. So each carbon atoms are joining with three other carbon atoms and they are forming a hexagon. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good job. It's arranged is in this flat arranged. Right, now see, this is one layer. And if you look from, from this horizon, you are getting it one single layer and many graphite, many carbon atoms are in one single layer. You can see. Eh? So this is what we are saying. This is one playing card and the next playing card and the next playing card. So, uh, so they are arranged in layers by layer and they're, they're a very small uh, uh, force of attraction which are connecting the layers together. And you can easily separate those layers, but this, the strong covalent bonds in inside a layer, inside a layer, in between the carbon atoms, there are strong covalent bonds which cannot, which you cannot easily break. What was that? Yes, sir. Okay, continue. Like this. When you get lots and lots of them, what you end up with is something that looks like this. So here I've got two layers of graphite, one on top of the other, and you can imagine that this structure could go on and on and on, just like the diamond could a moment ago. The biggest difference between diamond and graphite is that in graphite, each carbon is only bonded to three other carbons. And that means that it's arranged in layers, like on the left here. I think I can make it clear. Well, she can make it clear with her ball and st stick diagram. Now let us proceed. And uh, if you want to ask any question, please ask. Any question, a friend? <clears throat> no, sir. Okay, good job. So, uh, just act a change that way. Don't say, AJ, act a layer. In a layer, there are only covalent bonds. AJ, it'll check a layer. 
সো একটা লেয়ার কে আমরা এখানে দেখাচ্ছি লেয়ার একটু দেখাই সুন্দর করে সো ইউ সি দিস ওয়ান লেয়ার ইজ বেসিক্যালি দিস দ্য হোল থিং এন্ড দিস লেয়ার ইজ অলসো দিস সো দ্যাটস হাউ ইট গোস বাট ইন বিটুইন দ্য লেয়ার ইউ সি there are very weak force of attraction we are showing but very dark uh, very very light gray color so this one in between this there are very weak force of attraction so forces of attraction between the layers are very weak that you need to understand that's why when we write with a pencil we put the layers on our paper uh, why we can do it easily because these in between the layers there are very weak force of attraction and they are not covalent bonds in between when in between the layer there are no covalent bond uh, there, there is not a single covalent bond and within a layer there are very str- many strong covalent bonds many strong covalent bonds these are all strong covalent bonds right so that that is what you need to keep in mind so uh, there are many points graphite is soft material why because all of the forces holding the atoms together in each layer are very strong means covalent bond the attraction between the layer in between the layer are much weaker and not much energy is needed to overcome them so that's why graphite is very soft the layers can easily slide over each other and can easily be flaked off mane uh, can be flaked off you understand uh, then the next point graphite is used in pencil so uses of graphite number 2 uses of graphite is given when you write with a pencil you are leaving a trail of graphite layers behind on the paper pure graphite is so slippery that it is used as dry lubricant lubricant means oil oily you can lubricate the lock and key with uh, this graphite uh, powder for example powder graphite used to lubricate locks see number 3 graphite has high melting and boiling point graphite has high melting and boiling point same answer similar answer uh, just uh, few minutes ago we gave for diamond see same explanation i'm giving graphite is a giant covalent structure where each of the carbon atoms are joining with three other carbon atoms in a layer structure in order to break all these strong covalent bonds we need very high energy just uh, you you need to change two or three things one uh, each carbon atom are joining with three other carbon atoms instead of four diamond was four and this one is three and in diamond diamond was a tetrahedral structure here your graphite is a layer structure so for difference number two that is it clear yes sir okay the last point c number four graphite conducts electricity why because carbon you know 6 2 4 in order to make three covalent bonds only three electrons are used up three electrons are used up so one electron will remain as free electrons free electron so each carbon atom will have one free electron and uh, that is why they are good conductors of electricity very good conductors of electricity uh, so the uh, these electrons can pass through the structure uh, within a layer not in between layer but within a layer the electrons can flow so see graphite conducts electricity each carbon atom is joined to only three others each carbon atom uses three of its electron outer electrons to form three single covalent bonds the fourth electron in the outer shell of each atom is free to move around throughout the whole layer so through a layer in between the layer electrons cannot move in between the layer electrons cannot move within a layer the electrons can move as there are free electrons the electrons that are free to move throughout the layers are called delocalized because they can move from their locality they call they, they are called delocalized electron why because they can move from their locality they are not static they are delocalized they can move from their lo- locality the movement of these delocalized electrons allow graphite to conduct electricity ask your question
Sir, can I leave the class? I have another class and I have test two. Oh, you, need, you need to remind me. You have one minute left. It's not four yet. Who is this? Sir, driver. Okay. Okay. So give class and we have oh, test. Okay. We have class two. Okay, fine. Tika says, I'll let eight to call mother tag bed. That's okay. We are finishing it here. And please uh, read it properly and uh, note the points. If required, go to the video and check back. Thank you for today. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. <coughs>